Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and making the most of your day. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Christopher and I am so happy to have you joining us. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, look no further my friend because this place is for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button and while you're following us here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to Instagram and hang out with us over there as well. I post over there daily and it's just a great way to build connection. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. So many of you have asked if I have given up bullet journaling since finding the Start Planner. I featured a walkthrough of this in a recent vlog. I'll leave it linked down below. But this is by far the most comprehensive planner I have ever come across. And for the month of July, because it is a July through June planner, I am so excited to be diving into this and using this as my daily schedule, meetings, work, personal life, organization planner. However, I'm still using my bullet journal for my monthly collections, which I have streamlined and simplified. So today what I'm doing is walking you through my July setup. It is simple, it is easy, it is for people who might struggle with their artistic talent. I've also found that I've been able to streamline my collections just based off of how comprehensive the Start Planner is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into my July setup of my bullet journal. Now, I'm using this for all of my collections. And when I thought about July, my favorite thing is watermelon. And then I happened to come across this card that just reminded me of watermelon so much. I was like, hey, that's my theme. And this card aligns so true with what this channel is all about. Being kind never goes out of style. Hashtag kindness community. This is a group that I created on Facebook that is all about motivating and inspiring everyone, no matter what journey they are embarking on. I will also leave that link down below if you're interested in joining. Now when you go into my spread I decided this month to just add a simple calendar. The pink boxes mean I'm traveling for leisure, the green boxes mean I am traveling for work. In these boxes I plan on drawing a small sketch of the weather. For any of you who know me, my grandmother used to track the weather every day and I like to keep the tradition going so I track the weather for every day with just a small sketch of what it is like. Today is the first and let me tell you it is a rainy dreary day so I will be drawing a rain cloud in this box. Once again, just played with the idea of the watermelon. I just traced a cup that I had and then used my Tombow pens in two shades of green and then the blending brush that comes with them to blend them together. The next page is my YouTube and Instagram growth chart. I just split it right down in half and added this little vine to symbolize growth. I decided to break it up into four weeks. That way at the end of those weeks, I can just track the growth, see what's going on with each of those platforms forms and then make goals based off of the growth that I'm observing. The next section is for my YouTube ideas. This is where I just log any idea that you share with me, any idea that I come up with, and then I slate them for dates and then keep a key of filmed, edited, published, just to keep me really organized and on track with the YouTube channel. Once again, traced a portion of the cup, blended out the greens with the Tombow pens, and then added the pink and the seeds. This is where I really changed things up. What I found about myself is when I did the gratitude, it ended up being all about my personal life. So I really wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone and to really think of gratitude in my personal life as well as my work and professional life. So I put my days of the month down the center and only have left enough space for one to three words. And my goal is to track things that I'm grateful for in these two realms of my life every single day. And by streamlining it and keeping it short, I'm hoping to really keep up with this. The next section is my summer reading list. I used to do the bookcase and draw the spines out and that was just too time consuming for what it is. So I'm simply logging the books that I've read and starring them if I recommend them. And then I keep a little box in the corner for books to read. I already have my first recommendation, A Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware who also wrote the Woman in Cabin 10, and that was recommended by a subscriber named Valerie. Once again, traced the cup, blended out my brushes, 
and then just added the rest of the watermelon. The next section is one of my favorites and that is my July doodle section. What I do with those sections is anything I see on Tumblr or Pinterest, I just doodle it down so that I don't forget it and then can incorporate it into a later spread. I love these pages, I use them all the time and I always reference back to them. If you don't include a doodles page, definitely do it. It helps you keep track of all the ideas, whether it be a border or a banner or just a little graphic you wanna add in the future. The next section that I love is my July expenses, and I've really ended up streamlining this and finding a system that works for me. I simply mark the date, the item, and then I decide was it a want or was it a need, and then how much it cost. This is a great way to look back at the end of the month and see how many purchases I made were based off of wanting something or needing something, and it helps add perspective for future buys. And my last section is the how do you feel. This is a really great way to track your moods. I use the watermelon since that's my theme this month, a sad face, a neutral face, and then a happy face. And then my days of the week along, and I just plot a line based on how I feel and where I fall on the scale and connect them as I go. If there's something particular that is happening that day, I will bracket it and write a few words just so I can remember like, wow, I was really excited about blank this month. Wow, well, such and such got me really down. And it's just a really great way to track everything for the month. So my friends, that is my July collections in my bullet journal, which I will be using in tandem with my start planner that will hold my everyday schedules. I think this is a killer combination and is going to work really, really well for me. So that is my July setup, my friends, and so many of you comment that you are not artistic, and it is clear after seeing that spread that you do not have to be. It is all about making it work for you and doing what you are comfortable with and just having fun. If you have your July setup already done, make sure you tag me over on Instagram because I gained so much inspiration from all of you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will leave it like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, my friends. Give it to everyone. Until next time.